Hello, today I will give you some brief introduction about the Profound Sit series. I will quickly walk you through all the basic features and after that I will give you some explanation about all the included standard parts. I connected the accelerometer to the sensor cable and the sensor cable is attached to the SIT device to the sensor port. And now I will turn the device on for the first time use and after booting you need to adjust a few one-time settings in order to work properly with the device for further measurements. By pressing the number 8 you go to the change settings menu and I will first increase the brightness settings for you so you can see uh, all the actions a little bit more easily on the screen while filming. Then in the same menu when I press 2 I can change the time location so you can enter your own regional settings. In this case I will enter the Netherlands and our local time. Then we can go back and change all the measurement settings. So those settings for the measurement will contain all the standard settings for all measurements you will be carrying out in the field. So first you can select your game type. You can set incremental pile numbering automatically on and off and you can set a default for example how many blows you want to save minimally for each tested pile. Before starting a project you need to enter a name and the name may consist out of letters, capital letters or numbers or some symbols. For a standard measurement you select the option 1 for the velocity measurement and the device is now initializing the sensor. In this menu you can change all the parameters related to your measurement. So you can enter a pile name, enter the pile length, the wave velocity during testing, so for casting CT piles roughly 3800 or 4000 meters per second in this case. You can enter the gain. Auto filtering is a standard setting. File density, if you perform tests with an instrument, entering the density of the file area is recommended. And these are the basic features of the SID instrument. For standard testing, there is a small hammer included. Uh, roughly, use it uh, to piles with a diameter of roughly 250 millimeters and the larger hammer is suitable for piles up to 400 millimeters and contact us for more information about other available hammers there is a charger in order to charge your device and for the SIT instrument the basic battery capacity is 4 hours and for the SIT Plus and the SIT Pro the battery capacity is 8 hours the standard adapter is uh, able to be used worldwide with all the different plugs which can be connected. There is a tape measure so to measure the diameter of the piles if you're not sure. The accelerometer and the cable can fit in to the case while connected. So everything fits in the case and that's about it. 